Hello my dear sweet creatures, it's been a while, it has been a while, um, but I hope, you're, I hope you're well, welcome back. And I'm, in this video I'm going to be reviewing slash demoing a couple of Cover FX products. Now Cover FX are a cruelty free and mostly vegan brand, I think they've got two or three things that aren't vegan but the vast majority are vegan and they're also free from things like talc, mineral oil, uh, parabens, perfume, you know, stuff that's going to irritate my skin personally, this brand is free from. So I don't really know why I haven't tried them before. Uh, they're quite expensive but I just hadn't really given them, given them the time of day but I picked up a few quite a few things from Space NK and I thought I would show them to you the first being their new foundation this is their power play foundation and I've got the shade n20 I mean all this in, all this good information is coming your way should you choose to continue which I would highly recommend you do because it's a great video Nah, it's alright, it's not, it's not my best, it's not my best, but it's also not my worst. So. I mean, this was going to be a first impressions video, but I've been using these for the past two or three weeks, so I kind of, I, I've got a good idea of how they work and my opinion on them. So yes, if you're interested in any of these products, or if you want to hear just me bumble through putting on makeup, then that's what this video is going to be, but I do really hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning back in, if you are. Um, yeah, if you enjoy this video, then gives us a thumbs up if you want to. You don't have to. I mean, I feel like this is a done thing now. I don't really ask people to thumbs up my videos, um, which is really sweet because people do it anyway and I don't even ask, but I really do appreciate it. And apparently it's what you have to do to work with the YouTube algorithm. I don't know, I'm not all into analytics and that stuff. I just do this for fun. But if you would like to thumbs, if you do like this video and you would like to thumbs up, then feel free to, feel free to. Make sure you click that little bell to turn on notifications. <laughs> no, what is it that they say? But yes, roll VT. So the first product I've got from Cover Effects to test is this illuminating primer. I got this for £30 from Space NK. So quite a pricey primer. And if you know me, you know I'm not really a primer kind of person. This is actually only the second high-end primer. I think it's only the second I've tried. The first one that I've used in the past is the Too Faced Hangover X. I don't know why I went for this, to be honest. Um, it's their illuminating primer, and they do a couple of different ones. I'm going to pop this on as I chat. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes out. I love this tube, so you can get the exact amount of product that you want compared to the Too Faced one, which is actually... It's a tube like this, but it's got a pump. So, yeah, I, I found that I wasted a lot of product with that. I actually gave that away after a while. I worked this in with my hands, and... Like I say, I didn't like the Too Faced one because I thought it was just overpriced, I didn't like the smell, my one went off really, really quickly, and I don't find that it made my makeup stay on for any longer. So I had a bit of a negative attitude going into testing this, but I rate this really highly. Like, I know this is supposed to be like my first impressions, but for the moment, I think it's really good. I've tried it in combination with a couple of different foundations, including this Oat Milk Foundation by Era Perez, which is a lovely foundation, don't get me wrong, but combined with the primer, it just lasts so much longer, it goes on so much better. The only thing is, because I think it's just, I think this is my fault, because I'm used to using a moisturiser as a primer, I end up using quite a lot, um, because I kind of use it to moisturise my skin, but I mean, you could use it on top of moisturiser, and it just, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it does give a, an illuminated base, but there's no shimmer in sight. It's just a sheen, it's just a healthy sheen. So, yeah, that's the first product that I've tried from them. I think it's really, really good, and... I like it a lot, I would recommend. I think this is a good option. Not a primer expert, but you know, from the little I know. Um, the foundation that I've got to try from them is their Power Play foundation. I had to order this online. The cover effect stands in the UK, in Space NK, not so great. Like, they're, they're tiny. The ones I've been in, the, the stands are just this tiny little... They haven't got the full range, and they don't have this. I've got mine in the shade N20. I actually do like the bottle. I think it's good. I like these nozzles because, like I say, you can get out exactly the amount of product you want. Because it's square, the bottle's quite hard to squeeze, so it can be quite hard to get product out. Not a massive deal. I think it's a good colour match for me. I think it, it it's really nice. They've got 40 different shades and a couple of different tones as well. It's actually quite easy to colour match yourself. I tend to go for foundations that are a little bit more yellowy slash neutral as opposed to kind of pinky, cooler tones. My technique for applying this is I apply it with... This is kind of what I do for most foundations. I apply it with my finger, which I know some people absolutely, they don't like people applying makeup with their hands, but my hands are clean, man, like... Pfft. The reason why I do this is because I think it lets it warm up on the skin, um, so that when you blend it in, which I will do in a moment, it works in really nicely. 
So that took about three squirts of this onto the back of my hand and popped on my face to cover my face and I'm going to blend that in with a sponge. I definitely prefer it with a sponge compared to a brush but that's just personal preference, you know, I'm sure some pe for some people it works fine with a brush. It oxidises ever so slightly, like a minuscule amount. I feel like it oxidises, but not noticeably so, it doesn't look orange at all. Um, you, it's £38, so it's an expensive foundation, like for me that's that's expensive. I think the most I've, uh, you know, usually pay is about £25, £38 is it's up there. You get 35 millilitres of product and it, it's, it's beautiful, like it is really nice. It's not as high coverage as I, as I thought it was going to be, but that's probably just my fault. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't read, this, read the description properly. It's still nice though and it's definitely buildable, so I'm going to pop a little bit more on so you can see how it is buildable. It sets to a really nice natural matte finish. It's like a semi-matte. It doesn't look like you've got makeup on, if you know what I mean. I think the key selling point of this foundation is that one, it's a very natural finish. And the other selling point of this is that it lasts, I think it lasts really well and it wears really nicely throughout the day. I have slept in this. I shouldn't do that, well, <laughs> what can you do? I've had naps in this, I've cried in this and it, it holds up surprisingly well. Um, and also just when you check your makeup at the end of the day, it doesn't break up at all. It's definitely buildable to a nice medium coverage, but it still looks natural, you know, still looks like skin. So yes, overall, I do really like this. It's a little bit different to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more coverage, to be honest, but I'm not mad that it's not, you know. I really do enjoy this and I've been wearing it a lot, so that's that one. Not crazy hydrating, I think if you've got, I think if you've got dry skin, in fact, if you've got dry skin, I'll link Logical Harmony's video down below because I think she's got quite dry skin and she showed the, her best way of wearing this. Um, so that might be really useful for you if you are a dry skinned individual. Basically, she just wears an oil underneath it and it apparently it works quite well. So that's that. Um, let's just pop some concealer on. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This is really quite... It's not old, but I mean it's running out. Oh, this is so dry and uncomfortable to apply. You can see I'm like scraping the barrel. But I, what was it that I tried? The, the Makeup Revolution one. Why didn't I like that? I can't remember. I did buy their foundation to test out in a video, but it has beeswax in. And actually I took it back straight away to Superdrug. The lady in store, she, was, she said, oh, thank you so much for telling us. We've been telling people that uh, Makeup Revolution is entirely vegan. Which I mean, you shouldn't really do, but um, yeah, that's that. So all's well that ends well. Now they know not to tell people that it's vegan. Um, moving on to the next product, so this is their Perfect Setting Powder and I've got the shade Translucent Light. They do a slightly darker one as well, so if you have a deeper skin tone then maybe that one might be better for you, but it is a translucent colour, supposed to be translucent. I can't really comment on translucency of, of the translucency of powders because I've got quite pale skin, so whether they show up, whether they are translucent, it doesn't make a difference to me. I was toying between either getting this or the Hourglass Powder, but the packaging was a bit more bulky. I love this, this packaging because it's got a really Really good little um, not a, it has got a little sieve but it's also got a stopper as well so I think this would be really good to travel with I'm going to take the B concealer brush and set under my eyes with it I don't know if you can see the color is slightly yellow but it's not it's not like a banana powder it's a very nice powder I have to say I really really rate this I've seen people compare this to the Laura Mercier powder which is quite a popular powder on YouTube it's a bit of a cult classic you get more in the Laura Mercier but with this one, it's free of talc, whereas I think the Laura Mercier one has got talc in. I can't really remember why people avoid using talc. I know it's supposed to not be great. I thought the reason why people don't use talc or don't like to use talc is because it can have asbestos in it. But then asbestos is not really a thing anymore, is it? Because of... I don't know. I don't know if that's just a gimmicky thing or quite what. I should probably look into it. I've been learning too much about thing other things. You know when your brain is just full to capacity? been learning too much. I'm writing a paper at the moment about foreign direct investment into an, a new international market. Oh, God, I don't care. Do you ever just get to the point in your degree where you think, I just, I want, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, this is so boring, I'm not enjoying it. I need to get a bronzer brush. I'm going to use this Lily Lolo contour palette. Uh, yeah, I'll finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I just switched between about three different brushes um, when applying my contour from this Lily Lolo kit. A little bit of a recap on this. I can't remember if I've used this in a video yet or not, um, but it's the Sculpt and Glow kit. I love the highlight shade. I'm not really a highlight kind of person, but this is just... It's the best natural powder 
highlight I've tried because it's just a gorgeous sheen gorgeous sheen it's just a gorgeous sheen <laughs> no it's a really nice sheen um really really natural I applied a little bit too much under my brow bone so it looks a little bit wrinkly but that's my bad that's my bad um I just find that the contour shade can look a little bit muddy ever so slightly I still think it's a good kit but I think the contour shade can be a bit muddy and also because the the palette's so tiny like it's tiny my hands are really small yeah and look how small it is it's half of my hand pretty much so because it's so small it's hard to get your brush in so that when you apply it it applies all over if you know what I mean in an even fashion so uh highlight amazing contour not mad about with this one but I still think it's overall I would recommend it I think it's a good little palette let's move on to eyes I think I might quickly just do my lips just because I feel like I look a bit strange so I'm going to pop the 100% pure foxglove lipstick on this is from their fruit pigmented pomegranate oil anti-aging lipstick range and it's my favorite I think it might be if I was stuck on a desert island with no other lipsticks apart from say I had a lip balm and I had to pick a color I would pick this like if I could only have I mean why would I need it on a desert island but what I mean is like if I could only have one lipstick till the end of time it would be this because I just think it's a perfect pink it's just a really good easy color to wear and it goes with a lot of different things it also really goes with the eye product I'm going to use from cover effects and this is their shimmer veil you can use this on your lips you can use it on your eyes I, I kind of find that a bit questionable obviously you've got lots of bacteria on your lips that shouldn't really be going in your eye you can use lip liners as eyeliners and eyeliners as lip, as lip liners as long as you keep it just to that you know that category if you know what I mean like cross contamination of the two can give you styes or infections and things like that so or maybe take a clean lip brush and do it that way that's the way around it um not that I would really want to use this on my lips I mean I could I could I might do that um anyway let's get back to what we were talking about Reb this is the shade Moonstone they do four or five different shades I believe and it's a really pretty pink and I thought you know what it's springtime I like a good pink eye the nice kind not the nasty kind I really really rate this I think that it gives a really nice shimmer it's nice and lightweight on the lid so that it doesn't feel heavy and make my eyes water because that can happen with some liquid eyeshadows it's got quite an intense underlying glitter to it and you can either leave it just as a wash over the eyelid like that or you can use it as a base or you can build it up I think it complements green eyes really well I think with a tan this would look amazing I think on medium to deep skin tones this would look really good and what I like to do is just take the bronzer that I used and pop it on a fluffy brush and then blend out the edges and underneath the lash line the mascara I'm using today is the gosh rebel eyes mascara and this I really really enjoy I think it builds up to give a nice natural fluttery lash it's cruelty free and vegan and yeah I've been using it for the past two months or so really really like and I've actually not been wearing a winged liner of late I mean sometimes I have that's a lie but sometimes I like a little bit of a break and I think today I'm going to leave it without any eyeliner or winged liner to set my face I've actually been using a toner this is not by cover effects but their setting sprays look the, I'm talking about the illuminating one that's not illumination that is just glitter like it honestly I don't know how people have been re I, it's got so many good reviews and so many I've seen so many people recommend it on YouTube but it just looks so it's, it's glitter that gets sprayed onto your face and it, it's it's obviously glittery it's not a sheen it's not illuminating like a, in a subtle way it's more of an intense glitter which is fine like if that's your vibe if that's what you like to if you like the glittery bits you know as like a mystical festival kind of thing that's cool but I prefer a bit, something a little, a little bit more sheeny as opposed to glittery so I didn't pick that up but yeah I've been using this toner by Osea um so let's just I don't need a mirror for that I can do this with my eyes closed <laughs> I might put a little bit of lip gloss on as well just to give this a nice springtime kind of vibe in the middle of my lips. This is the Dusty Girls Pacific Ocean Shimmer lip gloss. Yeah, I mentioned this in my favourites video. Still absolutely love it. But that is everything. To give a little recap on the cover effects stuff, I think my favourite product is maybe the primer and the powder. But I love all of it. Like, I, I would buy all of it again. I would recommend it all. I know it's expensive. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money to buy it all again but in theory I would buy it again I'm going to love you and leave you I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know or give give it a thumbs up if you want to anywho I'm gonna skedaddle hope you have a lovely day hope you have a lovely life and hopefully I shall catch you in my next video bye friends